هستی؟ Hello, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, speak for the uh, support from the community uh, to the meeting and give this presentation. Uh, I am going to present some work that I did during my PhD dissertation while I was at the Observatory de la Côte d'Azur, working with uh, Marco Debo and Alejandro Mobile. So, uh, we can observe. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, so, we can observe the planetesimals around other stars, forming around other stars, and in our solar system, but we do not know very much well how they form, how, what is the mechanism by which to produce these uh, objects that we see. So currently there are two uh, theory, which uh, suggests that the planetesimals form gradually from small sizes all the way up to large sizes of hundreds of kilometers. Yeah, the theory is Hello? So, uh, the other theory Okay, sorry. So the other theory is called the gravitational strap theory, which suggests planetesimals are uh, when they take a leap from the smallest of sizes, the smallest of coincidences, all the way up to the of kilometer sizes. And uh, so until now, this has uh, been in the realm of computer simulations and theory, and uh, there has not been a real complete uh, observation evidence to Suggest to either three being. So, this, uh, this proof uh, that uh, we can constrain the formation mechanism of the gravitational comes from the asteroid. So, we can divide the asteroid up to two populations. One population is our, the asteroids, which are themselves fragments of other asteroids. And this is what these are the asteroids that I have contained inside these two shapes. The orange, blue, green, and red blue shapes. However, you may notice that you exclude the space in this, uh, in this plot, this is similar to the species in the diameter, uh, that there is this triangular void located between 2.2 and 2.35 centimeters. Uh, so we examine this grid. That we see that there are no asteroids of smaller than 35 kilometers for the high altitude asteroids. And 50, there's no asteroid smaller than 50 kilometers for the low altitude asteroids. But this is uh, very curious. You take all of the asteroids that are below the blue and orange lines, they have a size distribution that is very shallow. So in this plot here, it's is the size distribution and the, uh, is the function of diameter on the x-axis. And the, the squares here, the hill squares, are the planetesimal distribution that we see today. However, when one takes into account the additional and dynamical depletion of the planetesimals, you, you correct the number of planetesimals that are the, that we see today, and infer what the original population is. Right. 
I'll do some of that. Not lost. Oh, okay. sorry about that. So the, uh, the open code population originally is the service. the services of the instruction rate, the value rate, and the main belt. They have a so, this is the position of the power 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 of the the So, the guy about this is the story of this video. And that is new to me. Both local and local. Form That is wider than any other family. The inner main problem. So we examine the members of the family of family who are roughly the models and that they have little elements very broad. I have read and information. What this suggests is that okay, okay, thank you. Um, so the fact that the, the proper elements of this this primordial form and simplicity so broad suggests that the Family fragments subsequent to the creation uh, experience planetary migration. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, whatever age this family is, we constrained it to be somewhere in the ballpark of four billion years old. However, however, it may be that in the airport, it is older than planetary migration, right? the instability of the past. Mm -hmm. So you're probably wondering, okay, that's a very beautiful with a new family, you can just be avoid, but it's just a key. Just a uh, coincidence in that uh, you're, uh, you're over-interpreting. But uh, we've actually done a series of uh, tests to determine significant things. So if you assume that that is delineates the, the, the primordial family is not distributed with a, with a one over diameter and so major axis correlation. There is, there is no size dependence. The that is completely size independent. The probability that you would get it is by chance with less than one over million. So there is this one after the moment, later, that uh, we include in this uh, definition because it has a real albedo. However, taxonomy in the visible is resembles like a present S type. However, when we include this in the calculation of significance, we ask ourselves how often do we get the void with one asteroid into it? It is still less than one. So the other thing you'll, you can also ask is okay. What about the dynamical processes that can affect the this is that can affect the location of assays over time? Uh, can they produce this void by chance to start the location of numerous weak residents to start throughout the learning belt in combination with the new six residents and the Jupiter and energy? Well, so we studied this by 
generating synthetic moon dust, then propagating the orbit for billions of years, the synthetic, the synthetic moon dust for billions of years. And then you find that there is no preference in any size from um, the very large 30 kilometers, all the way up to 8, all the way down to 8 kilometers, that will produce this void by chance. So what this suggests is that this void is here, it is not it, and that the asteroids that we see in the void, and that they're all like the gravity, the albedo, and the uh, so the low albedo, are the original things. So I believe this, like, you need this, uh, this is something that you know, I'm happy to Do we have any questions in there? Okay, so I think we might be down to one mic, so this is going to be fun. But Congratulations, Richard and Jim and Pete. You say low albedo, what albedo do you need for that object? <laughs> so, the cutoff that we use is eliminate low albedo and non low albedo, which is 0.12. So you can get you know, low albedo types if they're shock darkened. Any other questions you want to go to HMS? Okay. Um, okay, so we don't have any questions, but I'm going to propose a quick break to put us to our own audience. Very sorry for Bryce that not everyone online was able to hear. So, okay. If anyone online, can you hear me? Yes. 